Hello guys, if you are looking for a model which you can use to give it a text prompt and an input image and then customize that input image on the basis of your text, then maybe give this photo maker a go. Not only this photo maker doesn't need any training to customize your images or painting, but it does it in quite a speed. The good thing is that they also have a project page and they have open source their code, which is amazing. And let me first quickly show you a few of the examples so that you would understand what this model does. So for example, here in this example, in the first row, there are input images. And then here on the basis of text prompt, they have generated these customized images. So for example, if you look at this image, there is a superwoman and then there are a lot of other variations of the same images with the same face in different kind of things. And you can do this stylization as per your own preference. So just look at different faces and on the basis of different faces, it has generated different images. There you go. So pretty neat and the quality is also quite good. But there are some limitations. For example, if you for the Asian faces, according to the hugging face model card, the quality sometimes degrades. Also, it doesn't work well with the hands for some reason. Anyway, now another thing I wanted to show you around uh, the same model is that the way it works, the methodology is quite interesting. So if you start from the left, what happens is that from the left, when you input any image, it creates the embedding and then it feeds it into the image encoder. And then from there, it extracts the fused embeddings by merging the corresponding class embedding. For example, if there is a man or woman or if a combined image is. And then also, it concatenates all the fused embeddings along the length dimension to form the stacked ID embedding. And in the final step on the right, after the stacked ID embeddings are done, it then just stacks them to all cross attention layers for adaptively merging the ID content in that diffusion model. And that is where it really does the magic. And there are a lot more detail in their paper and I'll drop the link in video's description. And even this project page is full of a lot of good examples where you can see this is an input image on the left and then on the right, the text prompt is simply a man wearing a space suit and then face has been converted to this uh, space suit with a man and then you know look at the same elements and then you know happily smiling and all that stuff amazing stuff you can see that there are references image and then from there uh, they have generated for example this van gogh style painting looks really good and then look at this right uh, one amazing stuff there are a lot of interesting examples here okay cool now i will drop the link so that you can play around but let's try to um, install this model locally and then see if it works or not. Let me take you to my local system, which is Ubuntu and Ubuntu is 22.04. Let me clear the screen. Now I am using my local Ubuntu system with one GPU of 16 GB of VRAM. And also I have more than 32 gig of memory. So hopefully it will work. Make sure that you have Conda installed and you have Python 3.8, which I already have. So let me quickly create my Conda environment. If you don't know how to create Conda environment, how to install Conda, then I would highly suggest that search it on my channel. I have uh, a video where I described in great detail. Okay, so Conda is not working. It seems that I would need to create Conda too. Okay, so let me create the Conda now in front of you. Okay, so I have plenty of space. Let me quickly update my system just to make sure I have everything installed properly. It's always a good idea to update these Ubuntu systems. And now bear with me while I try to install Conda here. And the first thing, because we will be downloading the Conda, so first thing we need to do is to install wget. And because I'm with Ubuntu user, let me use sudo with it. wget is done. Now let me download Conda with a shell script. Let me clear my screen. So I'm using wget to download Conda. 
let's wait it is just a conda shell script which is being downloaded at the moment let's quickly check the checksum to make sure the file is all right that is done now let's install conda with bash press enter spacebar few times and then yes and then just press enter and it is going to install conda for you let's wait for it to come back this takes a bit of a time sometimes because of the size of it so now we need to initialize the conda just press yes here and that's done let's also source our shell so that conda is initialized and properly all the environment variables are set so in uh, my shell is initialized now let's also quickly check my conda version let me do let me first clear my screen and then conda info and that should show me all the conda version and everything else related with conda let me clear my screen again and now let's create our conda environment the advantage of creating conda environment is that now we have python 3.10 it will be used in the conda environment and it will contain all of my uh, packages and everything so that i don't have to worry about um, installing it separately and it will be easier to clean up and that is done now let me activate conda and you can see in the parenthesis the photo maker environment is activated in conda and now let's install uh, I think pip is already there, but let's make sure pip is uh, installed. Okay, so it has installed the 23.3.2, the latest one, which is good. Cool. Now, let me also install all the requirements. But I think before that, I would need to uh, install the requirements from here. Let me quickly do it. Okay, so I would first, I guess, need to uh, get clone this repo. Let me do it quickly. Sorry, just get. I needed to get clone this, which I forgot to do. So let me get clone. Grab the URL of the repo, and then I would get clone it. Okay, so. It will be git clone and this is the repo that's good ls and let's go to photo maker with the screen and now let's install all the requirements and now it is going to install a lot of things so let's give it a few minutes to get completed Okay, so that is done now let me clear my screen and all the prerequisites are done now let me fire up my python interpreter and we will try downloading and running model from there so let's first go to hugging face and then from there let's download the model let me specify the model path here and you can see that i'm just specifying the photo maker path from the hugging face repo let's wait for it to finish okay that's done now let's import some of the libraries which include photomaker and all that stuff pytorch all the pipelines that is good okay we can ignore this warning for now okay now let's load the base model with the help of that photomaker stable diffusion pipeline okay so i need to define this base model path i think i def what exactly i defined there let me specify that quickly in the in the variable so as a base model i just specified this runway ml stable diffusion v1 5 and now you can see that it has started out downloading that base model so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long 
and by the way you can use any base model of your liking i just like to use this stable diffusion 1.5 it's easy it's simple so let's go with it and that's done in the next step what we are going to do we are going to load our photo maker adapter we are specifying the photo maker path where we define that model also we're not specifying any subfolder just the weights name plus the trigger word this is the trigger word which we are going to use in in our prompt so let me run it okay so it's run and you can ignore this for a while and now i have just defined my scheduler and then simply fuse it with lora okay so it is not fusing with this lora that is fine we can use another lora for it for that i'm just going to go with uh, the excel more art one let me try that one out so okay so i would need to download these modules so let me do it so that lot of use took bit of a time but it eventually ran and then i am just specifying my input folder where the images are because the installation was done and now we are specifying our images and then it is going to get your input images from any directory because when you clone that github repo it simply picks up all the examples i'm just getting the examples from their own one and then inputting the images looping through it and then it, it will generate the images and if you want to run it through gradio you can also do it uh, while in that github repo on your local system simply run this python gradier gradio underscore demo app.py and this is going to download the model if it is not already downloaded and then it is going to uh, create your gradio public url or or you can access it on your local system on port 7860 and you can see that it is loading this stuff you can ignore above warnings so this is running over local and it is running on public url too as you can see here and you can access this public public url from here let me take you to this url and you can see that now this photo maker is running locally on my system with the help of gradio with a very cool user interface and now you can just select your files here to your images and then you can uh, specify your prompt here and make sure that you have that img keyword here so that it will generate it properly so let's try it out i have uploaded one of my face photo and then I'm just going to call it um, a photo of a man image riding a horse. Let's submit it. And you can see on the right hand side it has started processing. And if I take you back to my terminal, you can see that it has also doing some of the logging here. And this is the thing which we just gave it. And then it is telling us what sort of photograph it is. Okay, let's go back to the browser. And it takes a bit of a time. So let's see what happens. Let's wait for it to finish. And unfortunately, because of my GPU, it errored out from the um, graphical interface. So if I take you to my terminal, you can see that it is showing me that it was out of memory. I don't have uh, a bigger GPU at this time to run this Gradio demo, but if you have a beefy system, this is how you can do it. So this is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you are stuck while running it on locally, please paste your error in the comment and I'll be happy to help out. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.